Hello, friends from Fire Reasons. Welcome back to another edition of Messi and Co. Brought to you by our friends from Mosaics.com. Thank you. We're back here on the Fire Reasons YouTube channel and also on our podcast feed. And today we're going to be talking about the press conference that just finished with Tata Martino and Robbie Taylor, who scored the first goal of that uh, match in which the Inter Miami won 2-1 against Cruz Azul with a Messi golazo to finish it off in the last seconds of the game. Today we're going to review what they said and talk a little bit about uh, some of the news that are coming out this press conference. We're struggling to find it, but we always do minutes before it happens and we are ready. So uh, we're going to prepare you to what's going on tomorrow, Tuesday night, when uh, Inter Miami plays against Atlanta United. That's why they had uh, Tata Martino and Robbie Taylor talk to the press Today, Tate Martino facing Atlanta United for the first time since uh, he came back to the uh, MLS. So it's going to be an important game also uh, for that reason. Before the game started or before the press conference started, Gaston Edul, our uh, fellow journalist from Argentina, said and was reporting already that Messi will start the game uh, so we'll see. That's that's going to be one of the things that it's probably going to happen. Tata Martino talked about it in this press conference. And we're going to go over some of the most important quotes, not only for, from him, of course, in Spanish. And I know they're, they're struggling there to translate all of the answers. And I think they should be doing a better job of pre presenting this uh, content, not, not only to the press here or the fans here in the United States, but also uh, to the fans all over the world. Because Lionel Messi, it's a worldwide a sports figure, and I think they could be doing a better job of uh, communicating what he's talking about, what Tata Martin is talking about, what Sergio Busquets is talking about, what Jordi Alba, whenever he comes, is talking about. But other than that, let's continue with our coverage. As uh, like I said, thanks to our friend from Mosaics.com, our sponsor here, our official sponsor on the Messi and Co coverage. All right, let's start with uh, Tata Martino. He talked about um facing the atlanta united for the first time he said it's a special that it's a city and a club that it's in his heart it, it was two years of his life that he really enjoyed and that it's good doing this after winning the other game against cruz azul the first game with messi on the team because he was going to be at least i'm adding this it was going to be a little bit more pressure right if inter miami was coming to this second game of the group stage to try to win that game they had to win it because remember they had to finish first to advance to the next round talking about uh, Lionel Messi and Sergio Busquets the question was more about Messi but uh, I'm gonna add Busquets to this uh, mix right here he said it's very probable that they play more time uh, even from the beginning and then uh, he mentioned something that I've been talking with uh, Austin Robillard since we started this podcast here and it is that once Lionel Messi starts, it's going to be hard for him to actually take him out of the games. It happened in Barcelona. It happened in PSG. It happened in the Argentina national team. So we'll see how that goes. But it will all depend on how they feel. That's uh, what Tata Martino said about this subject. He was also asked about the new uh, the trade that Inter Miami announced this morning. Remember... Uh, Inter Miami has the opportunity, or, or any team in the league actually have the opportunity, to trade for those slots that you can use to bring international players. Well, this morning, uh, Inter Miami announced, let me see at what time was it. Well, it was actually yesterday, but I saw it this morning. <laughs> he said they, uh, they had acquired an international uh, roster slot from the San Jose Earthquakes in exchange for $150,000 and in 23 of general allocation money so uh, he was uh, tata martino was asked about this situation and about the plan and, and what's going on also of course uh, referring to luis suarez and the possibility of him joining inter miami he said um they're still working on building the team on putting together the team there are some things that are out of inter miami's control like uh, Luis Suarez's situation with uh, Gremio uh, from Brazil. That's not in Inter's hands. Like we said before, he has a contract until December of 2024. So they will have to somehow get rid of that contract. 
uh, them talking about uh, when I say they, I talk about uh, Luis Suarez and Gremio, and then after that we'll see what happens. But he also mentioned that has also to do with uh, new international players coming, like Jordi Alba, like Diego Gomez, and any other signings that Inter Miami could be uh, planning on, especially since they don't know if Suarez is actually a, a possibility, a real possibility uh, in the near future. So we'll see what happens in that situation. Uh, the next subject was, um, he was asked about the, the free kick, right, by Messi. Uh, and he said, it's, I mean, we have normalized something that it's really uh, weird, really special. Uh, I think we all had the same sensation, uh, Tata Martino said, since the moment the foul was called, that we all visualized that this could happen. I mean, how many times have we seen uh, Lionel Messi score a goal from that distance, even if it's a free, a free kick or just a regular play. So he said, we, we've we just come to a point when we uh, turn this uh, special moments into normal, uh, a normal situation for a guy like Lionel Messi. Uh, other than that, uh, he was asked about also how the team has changed on the way they're playing and, and how the, the team is or how is he trying to change the, the, the way they play because of the first what we saw in the first half and what we saw in the second half and he said I mean uh, Tata Martino said that he's been changing the way the team thinks about the game and the way they play since the San Luis game the St. Louis game and even though the result was not on Inter Miami's side he said that that's that's when it all started. And you can see how, uh, and he was asked about how the presence of Messi and Busquets can modify all of this. And he said, well, it, it will, I mean, it's it's been happening already. And not only since that San Luis game, but also in, in, in training. And that's when uh, some of these things are, are going on. Um, he was also asked about Joseph Martinez and what he's seen of Joseph Martinez and the version of Joseph Martinez that he found here. In Miami, he says, the last week I've seen uh, uh, Justin Martinez that reminds me of what I saw in Atlanta. Um, and, but he, he also said that he's seen change uh, or changes in all the players in the squad, not only Joseph, but all of them, the enthusiasm and the, the illusion, the, the, the emotion, right, of having uh, Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba, and uh, international superstars joining the team and trying to help them to get out of the hole that they dug themselves into. So it's it's good to see this version of Joseph and we'll see how what happens and if he starts as well along with Messi and Busquets. We'll see what happens. Um, and comparing the two situations between Atlanta United and Inter Miami, what happened there and what's uh, Tata Martino trying to build here, he said... In Atlanta, we formed everything, we built everything from zero, from scratch. Here we're trying to do something similar, but it's different because they got here in the middle of the season. Them talking about the coaching staff, uh, they have to build a team and um, they have to compete as they're building the team, as they're trying to work on the idea and start to visualize what's, uh, visualize what's going to go on the pitch. And he's just ready for August 2nd to start, that to, to arrive, that date to arrive, so he can uh, close that uh, folder and start working with whoever's here. That's something else that doesn't really help them to to work the way they would want to. He talked about having a preseason, having a, uh, an opportunity of really building the team the way they want to build it uh, in order to really face the challenge of a new season. And that's something that uh, came up a couple of times as they were talking uh, during this press conference. Uh, let's continue here. The next one, the next subject, he said uh, about Lionel Messi. He finished the, the game well physically, talking about the, the physical aspect of the game. He trained with, uh, with the group that played less than, than the rest, the, the, group, the group that didn't start, the group that played... Uh, 40, 35 minutes or less. And he said that uh, he would finish well and he hinted that he will probably be starting in this game 
against Atlanta United. Let's continue with our press conference review, Tata Martino and Robbie Taylor, but we're going to do it right after we go ahead and uh, give you a little bit of a break with our friends from Mosaics. Are you ready to transform your space into a masterpiece? Introducing Mosaics, your destination for stones and more. Mosaics is a family-owned business serving the community for over 20 years. With the best quality porcelain, ceramic tiles, and high-end mosaics featuring unique modern designs, Mosaics has everything you need. Dedicated customer service, wholesale distributors, and a passion for excellence. Make sure you visit mosaics.com today to turn your vision into a reality. All right, and that way we turn into the second part of this episode. Uh, welcome back to Messi and Co. I'm your host, Alejandro Villegas. Today, talking about what went on during the press conference with Tata Martino and Robbie Taylor. Robbie Taylor, um, I know this is going to happen to a lot of players. He was there. He got asked maybe three or four questions. And a couple of them were for both Tata and Taylor. So we'll see. Um, the second half of this press conference, they said, or, or they asked Tata Martino how, or, or this version of Messi, no, right? And how um, his teammates are going are reacting, and how it changed, and how we saw it, and the pressure that we saw from the team that was really struggling in the first half, the first 25 minutes. He even said that it was a, it looked like a, a, te a team of just rookies, of beginners playing soccer. It was a typical errors for a team that's in first division of any league around the world. I'm talking about those first 25 minutes against Cruz Azul, that Inter Miami was lucky that Cruz Azul didn't score any goals. I'm adding that. He didn't say that. But we also, in, uh, Cruz Azul had the best chances and, and they were the better team for the first half of the first half that day on Friday on against Cruz Azul. But uh, talk, talking about how things changed and how uh, Messi, Busquets, and, and even Joseph Martinez too made the team change and, and the team looked very different, even though when you look at it in that second half, they actually tied 1 1. So even though the team played way better, they were they were about to lose that second half if Messi doesn't score that golazo. So this is um, every time Messi goes in, or this time when Messi went in, uh, he doesn't really block what others are doing, he just makes them do better, make them look better, and makes the young guys grow and show a little bit more of what they can do when he was asked tata martino about messi's communication with his teammates he says that it's been going on since the, since the moment they started training together that he's seen messi busquets and even joseph martinez with their own groups of young guys just talking about different situations and talking about how how to really solve different situations during games and, and he's seen that leadership already started since the trainings we saw it live during the games as well how messi was talking to yetlin to joseph martinez to some of the young guys trying to move them and tell them how to move or how to react to different situations but in this particular case tata martinez says uh, messi has been doing it busquets has been doing it and joseph martinez has been doing it for a time now uh, jordi alba what's going on with jordi alba hey. Tata Martino says Alba has been training. He's been practicing. He's just not in the U.S. yet. There's still things uh, on the work permit side that have not been finished. So he is not able to join the team so far right away. So we'll wait and see when that's going to happen. But uh, Tata Martino said he's going to need not a lot of time to get ready because he's been uh, training and and, and getting ready for weeks so we'll see if that's true and uh, we'll see what happens <laughs> when Jordi Alba gets here remember he played with Spain in the final of the Nations League let me see when when was that final the actual date because that was the the last game that they played uh, Spain against Croatia let me look it up real quick we are um, we are producing as we go here in this episode they played on June 18th. So that's a little bit over a month. The last time Jordi Alba played a game, he started as a left back and finished that game when uh, Spain beat Croatia 5-4 in penalty kicks to win the Nations League. 
uh, this summer. So we'll see what happens with Jordi Alba, and then we'll continue with our coverage here on Messi and Co. Uh, Robbie Taylor, finally, one of the answers from him, you know, what, uh, what's been changing, right, for him. This season, not only with Messi, but this season, he said he's been... Uh, he feels that he's, this is the season he's grown the most. He's playing different positions and he's been starting games lately. We saw the great goal that he scored against Cruz Azul in that particular game. And, and I think it was um, it was really great. I'm going to add to that answer because he was asking a different question about um, the moment, the emotional moment that the team, in, uh, the team is in right now. He said they have a lot of more energy. They're giving their all and they're pushing each other to be the best versions of themselves. Of course, not only having to be with Messi getting here, but also having to be with uh, Tata Martino being their their coach, their new coach here. And that also, that also, that, that always, I'm sorry, that always makes uh, soccer players trying to show again. And that, that gives a little spark, right? When uh, every time a new coach comes in and, and makes you work hard to show that you either deserve to be or st to stay in the starting lineup, or if you're not, that you deserve to be there for sure. Um, talking about the emotional right from Friday, because, I mean, that was a, as high as it can get. Lionel Messi scoring that free kick on Friday to finish the game, to uh, give Inter Miami the win, 2-1 against Cruz Azul. How to keep that? Uh, is it different now? Uh, is it difficult? And then Tata Martino says it's just our, our responsibility as coaches and players to just continue giving our supporters a reason to be there and to be excited about this team. We'll see what happens. Of course, it's hard to be at that high level of excitement and continue to be excited, even for 90 minutes, if you're not playing, I don't know, in a final or something like that. But for some people who are watching Messi for the first time, this might be something similar to that. Lionel Messi from 10 years ago, what has changed? He was uh, Tata was asked about um, the version of Messi that he saw when he coached him with Barca and now and when also with the Argentina team and, and now with uh, Inter Miami. And Tata said it, it's all about the weight, the weight of his shoulder, right? Of, of Messi's shoulder after what happened with Argentina winning the Copa America, winning the Finalissima against Italy, and then winning the World Cup in three consecutive years. That lifted a lot of uh, the weight that Messi had on his shoulders. And now we're seeing a different version, a version of a guy that really uh, feels a little bit more free. That's according to what uh, Tata Martino said. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a new type of leader wants a team to evolve, wants his teammates to continue learning, continue growing, and that's contagious. It's something extraordinary that we'll, we're just used to making it normal, but you know, Messi, what he's done and, and what he does is just extraordinary. But it's a different version, and I, I agree with Tata. It's just a, a guy that is just relaxing and enjoying. He said uh, that the other day, Tata said that, that Messi looked like he just wanted – he was in – like like say like in school or in a park and he just wanted to to play with the ball and that's what he did and he had fun and he enjoyed it and that was about it so yeah it's a different it's a different version of Messi and then just to finish it off the, um, he was asked about if he is different from a player's perspective and what he can do on the pitch right now 10 years after what uh, Tata saw when he coached Messi in Barcelona uh, and Tata says, it's uh, in the game, he can do whatever he wants. He's always, he's always had the versatility to both build, or I mean, uh, get the ball and build the play from the beginning and also all the way up to just being the lethal scorer that he's been his entire career, both in Europe and now here in the Americas. He's been doing it in South America in the qualifiers for a long time as well, so... It's, I mean, Messi's just used to doing this type of stuff anywhere he wears, anywhere he goes, and, and he's probably going to continue to do so with Inter Miami. So thank you very much. This was, was a little bit of a review. I know Inter Miami is not doing uh, translations to all of the questions that Tata Martino has asked, so we're going to continue doing this to help you guys to get a, a little bit of a sense of what's uh, being said in those press conferences uh, before Inter Miami games. Hopefully we see Lionel Messi starting 
tomorrow on Tuesday night against Atlanta United. The same with Busquets, and hopefully Inter Miami continues and wins a second game in a row. And we'll be following it, of course, here on Messi and Go. Thank you very much. Thank you to our friends from Mosaics. Remember, visit them M O Z A I C S dot com, Mosaics dot com, and make sure you uh, follow us here on Messi and Co on Twitter or. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and turn the notifications on. Have a good one, and we will see you sometime soon here on Messi & Co. Bye-bye.